Imam Shwazi Center for Strategic Studies was hosting expert and analysts to discuss Iraq's future and globalization at a conference in Holy Karbala, Iraq. Imam Shirazi Center for Research and Studies has held a meeting in an Naba conference room. The topic of this meeting was secularism and dissociation of world. In this meeting, the discussion was about the idea of secularism and its effect on the international level, and the participants discussed how far this idea has been accepted with this consideration that not all countries in the world have approved it, because these countries have their own set of principles, ideas, politics, and economy. Today we had a meeting on the topic of secularism and disassociation of the world. In this meeting, it was discussed to what extent people were affected by this idea, what were the results of it, is there a chance of further success of this concept, and how far this notion and idea is going to survive. Many ideas were discussed in this meeting. One of the ideas discussed the history and origin of secularism. And is the Western world main supporter of this idea after Cold War? If positive is the answer to this question, then why? The attendees in this meeting reviewed the main elements in the world that are holding back the further ever growth and development of secularism. Many ideas and viewpoints were exchanged at this meeting. Also many questions were raised, such as the question that what are the alternatives to secularism? Another question that was raised is that is secularism the only way to the world's progress and success and prosperity? <laughs> In our meeting of today, many elements were discussed that prevented the further advancement and development of secularism concept. Then this question was stated that what are the best options and alternatives to this idea? And what is the better system and model can outbeat, outdo this type of model and system in order to create a good starting jump at all world levels, such as politics, foreign policy, manufacturing goods, and strengthening the world relationship with each other. What we are witnessing today, that many ideas and concepts, which once were considered as an absolute correct ideas, their wrongness have been proved and have been disregarded. In conclusion, this meeting ended with different ideas and viewpoints exchanged, some of which were approved and some others were not.